Baron Bunny, an explosive doll that can dance and taunt enemies toward it and then after a small duration explodes into a fiery mess. This raises questions about Amber in my personal opinion. In this video, I will show you how Baron Bunny works, how to use Baron Bunny properly, and how to increase the damage of Baron Bunny. To start us off, Baron Bunny can taunt enemies. Baron Bunny is quite capable of taunting almost every enemy besides bosses in this game, including the Abyss Herald, Lecter, Lava Trolls, Ruin Guards, etc. He leads the mobs, they hate the bunny. The bosses though... Obviously, this helps us fire away safely at the enemy without having to constantly reposition and dodge attacks. I know Jungli mains have gotten accustomed to just taking hits and very gradually forgetting how to dodge, but that's fine. He's a 5 star and we expect such benefits. Unfortunately though, you only get one bunny to use. Until Amber's fourth constellation where you get to deploy two bunnies. But as an Amber mean, that doesn't matter. We play Amber simply because we love Amber. Not because of her DPS, her vision, or what she can do. Only because she is Amber. And because we play Amber, we do have to know what we're doing since this is all we know. Other things you can do with Baron Bunny. You can blow up ores, stand on pressure plates. Baron Bunny can also take damage, which scales off Amber's maximum HP. You can even use Baron Bunny as a shield. Now the big highlight of Baron Bunny that brings people over to even consider building her other than the love we have for Amber. Of course not. It's hard to find someone in Mondstadt that attracts contempt as much as she does. At C2, you can manually detonate the bunny. But not anywhere. You have to shoot the bunny in the foot to set it off, which is kind of strange. and has actually been a problem in some areas where Baron Bunny's feet is in a puddle and you can't shoot the feet because it extinguishes the arrow. Beyond that though, the bunny makes for a great nuke and we can increase its damage with the correct team build. After studying videos from Braxophone, Shadow, Lotus Buns, Nutkun7993, even someone named K, and many others, I discovered that I do not like the Baron Bunny build. Big numbers are definitely fun to see and very satisfying, don't get me wrong. But after that, when you're up against a boss with a boatload of HP, now what? The setup to get it started and then hoping it crits, it's more suited to an Amber Olympics 2 event, perhaps. I, made a I definitely much prefer to have Baron Bunny as an option to nuke if I need it, but otherwise I will just stick to my charge shot or machine gun build. I do prefer using the Skyward Harp over an Amos Bow, even with a charge shot build, just so I have that little bit of extra crit rate for Baron Bunny. But that's my opinion anyway. Let's build up Baron Bunny at different stages with the team setup that I currently have available to me. And we'll be doing this with no potions or food buffs. However, there is one food buff that will help me concentrate. Tired of your local instant noodle selection? Have you been to Tokyo, Osaka, or even Numazu wandering around at night, late night, hungry, and you only have like 500 yen left after hanging out at the arcade all day, and you need a quick bite to eat? Trade offer, Zen Pop sponsored promotion. You receive a unique subscription box of must-try Japanese snacks, candy, ramen, and stationery that delivers worldwide. Yes! Zen Pop. They've been here before, and they just sent me my favorite box. Instant ramen. Perfect for my late nights where hunger strikes and I need a quick bite before I get right back to the task at hand. In this pack, there are seven authentic Japanese instant noodles from prefectures all over Japan. Each box, all detailed for you to read about each one and the bit of history from where it was created. Even listing of food allergies and instructions. And for this one, I'm gonna pick the Attack on Titan Konsumi Shoyu Ramen. Don't forget to use Rin Tai Cho for $4 off your own order. I'm one of those people that put their instant noodles into a bowl. I, it's just how I am. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you, Zen Pop. It was very good. Definitely check out Zen Pop. Links in the description and comment below. And if you sign up in time for August, the next ramen theme pack is citrus. Thank you, Zen Pop, for collaborating with me again. And now, back to Amber. Amber! First off, Baron Bunny scales off Amber's attack power, dealing AoE pyro damage. 
We'll start with just Amber on her own. And the build I'm running includes the Skyward Harp, two Gladiator, and two Witches, along with a Pyro Cup. My artifacts could use some more work, but I don't have the extra money or time to be sitting in domains all day. Now let's add everyone's favorite five star, Bennett. Gonna be epic. Except mine is C6. I know. I do this just to spite certain people. Anyway, his burst combined with C1 is a very simple and effective way to boost Baron Bunny's power. He's also wearing the four piece noblesse to help increase group attack power. Teamwork is dreamwork. <laughs> Up next, we have Sucrose with the TTDS, Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers, which increases attack power by 48% to the next person that shows up out on the field. The artifact set she has equipped is the four-piece Viridescent set, which lowers the enemy's resistance to the element that is swirled. In this case, Pyro. Everybody stand back! Absorption test! Go, go, Baron Bunny! And finally, for the fourth member, I like to go with a cryo vision that can help us add melts. And with this character, I would give them the instructor set for that four piece bonus of adding elemental mastery to the group. There is also Diona C6, which gives everyone a boost in elemental mastery, provided they stay within range. And when Sucrose triggers a swirl effect, she will add elemental mastery to the pyro visions in the group. And as an exclusive to C6 Amber, her burst can also increase her attack power and speed, which we can use to help increase the Baron Bunny Bomb. I'm going! Animal test 63 of Let It Rain! Diana Special! Shake it after! Go In conclusion, I do not like this build, but perhaps you might like this build. I would probably build this as a sub DPS with four piece witches or something like that. It can definitely work well with other groups, especially you have the benefit of a C6 Amber on your team. <laughs> Bennett, and two of whoever you like on your team, your favorite character, another DPS, etc, etc. But remember, only build Amber if you like her, and we'll put the time into working on her. Those considering building Amber because of the few cons they got via Gacha, for the most part it is going to feel pretty underwhelming if you've gotten used to other archers or other 5 stars prior to trying her out. There are others that will do a better job than her in this game. But again, I literally play Amber because I like her. That is all. Thank you.